What's going on everybody? I'm back with another video and this video is going to be made using Keyframe and Keyframe is a cheaper alternative to things like RT Software and Coach Paint but it is still very high quality and um, just as high quality as the other softwares and this is a great way to produce content to players, coaches, or whoever you produce content uh, for to increase their learning. So let's get right into it and I've already um, mapped out the shapes of the two teams. So Dortmund we see in a back four with a double pivot and Borussia Mönchengladbach is in a 4-4-2 structure with a staggered midfield shape. And I'm just going to go back now and highlight the two structures um, because it's super easy and I want to show you how quick and easy it actually is. So we're going to highlight one, two, three, four players in the four-man buildup. And I'm going to post a link to Keyframe below, so if you want to get a free trial, I really suggest you do so because it's a great opportunity. And now I'm going to highlight the double pivot. And now we're going to highlight the Borussia Mönchengladbach. So we have a two forward system, and they're using their uh, cover shadows to block out the double pivot and we'll see how this leads to them being broken um, in just a moment. So now their staggered midfield shape is also a really really crucial um, piece of their of the concept we're talking about. So with this being said this player their strong-sided holding midfielder, he is positioned deeper than the rest of the midfielders, and this is really to control the space between the lines. So by this player being deeper, they have more access to players on different horizontal planes. So this being between the lines. And whereas the other midfielders, they, have, they are slightly higher, which gives them more access to players higher up the field. So just this staggering is a good way to create um, more spatial control in key areas. But then what we see happen here is the two forwards, who I will highlight now, one, two. These two players are using their cover shadows to eliminate the double pivot of Borussia Dortmund. And with this happening, their orientation can sometimes be drawn towards the ball um, and they can overcompensate by looking at the ball rather than understanding what's behind them and how they use their cover shadow. And so we see Dortmund also using a, a, deeper, a deeper fullback. So this deep fullback will oftentimes um, produce a a tough situation for the outside midfielder who I'm pointing to now because this player will now have to travel a greater distance um, to adequately press the fullback and this will break the connection he has with his other midfield players so it can be really challenging for him to press while maintaining connection virtually impossible with a deeper fullback like this and then we will see how the shape between the lack of vertical partnership between uh, forward and the deep lying uh, midfielder between the lines controlling the space how these two players their connections are broken one by the forwards orientation and use of cover shadow and two by the deep lying playmakers staggered positioning and how he looks to control space between the lines but how he actually opens up space for the double pivot so let's go to the next picture. So now here I'm just going to highlight really quickly the shape again, the 4-4-2 shape, and we see um, the midfielder for Borussia Mönchengladbach has stepped out and pressed, and then now we can highlight the double pivot of Dortmund. So now the here is the deep line uh, midfielder who's controlling the space in between the lines. He's occupied by Marco Royce right now. And now we have our strong side holding midfielder. 
who, who is now free because of the use of the Ford's cover shadow. So I will highlight the Ford. So these two players highlighted for Bruce and Munch and Gladbatch, one, two. They're in a vertical partnership, but this has been broken because of the orientation between the lines from the midfielder and um, trying to control this space between the lines and Marco Royce. And now this player, he was formally using his cover shadow. So both these players were being stretched in different directions, which then allowed for space to be created between the lines in the platform area. And I'm just going to highlight this area quickly. So this is the space that was created for Dortmund, which will then be accessed through a third man movement as the ball was played from the fullback into the wide player, which will then be played back into the free player. So this was the concept and um, one way to do this to emphasize a more clear vertical partnership to maintain compactness, compactness and distances between players is not stress um, cover shadow as much, although it is a super useful way to create positional superiority, but rather um, focus more on the distances between players but this is obviously just all down to the coaches and coaches preference like most of the time it'll probably work really well um, but there are times when different concepts um, really have their flaws and get broken so either way both are clear concepts I'm just analyzing what's happened here and I hope you enjoyed the video I hope you enjoyed keyframe again I'll put the link below so please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.